The U.S. and Mexico share a border that's more than 3,000 kilometers long. So why haven't these two countries been working more closely all along? Richard Falk joins us from Santa Barbara, California. He's professor of international law and practice emeritus at Princeton University. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. In the U.S. shares intelligence with key European allies, but when it comes to its neighbor to the south, Mexico, it's been a little more cautious and vice versa. Why is that? I think it's essentially the sensitivity of these two countries that are very unequal in size and in capabilities. The Mexicans are very sensitive about their sovereign rights. The U.S. is uh, capable of exerting its power across borders in ways that are sometimes covert, sometimes not acknowledged. So it's a delicate relationship that doesn't exist uh, in the uh, context of U.S.-European relations where there is mutual respect for the equality of sovereign states. And it probably doesn't exist in relation to Canada also. So it's a peculiar aspect of the long history of American interference in the internal affairs of Latin American countries. You know, when two countries are working together to improve relations, you hear things like uh, trade and development, they usually top the list, and extraditions fall to the back burner. So how much emphasis is placed on extradition policies and treaties? Should there be more? Well, uh, it's, again, a delicate issue. You remember the Snowden case was a very prominent example where the U.S. was very frustrated by not being able to uh, persuade either China or Russia to extradite uh, Snowden, uh, who had uh, divulged very sensitive classified information. So the, there's always a question here underlying uh, an extradition uh, request as to whether there really are common and cooperative interests that dominate the consideration of the uh, basic issue. And on the one side, one wants to enhance uh, law enforcement in both countries. On the other side, one's very careful not to use uh, extradition as a way of extending uh, interventionary uh, power to a, a neighbor that is often accused of encroaching on uh, Mexican rights. Outside of extradition, what are other types of issues that require close coordination between countries? Uh, I imagine things like fighting terrorism are on that list. Uh, yes, fighting terror. Of course, the uh, primary issue at the moment is probably the control of uh, uh, illegal immigration. And that, too, is a very sensitive issue that uh, has to do with human rights. It has to do with uh, uh, territorial sovereignty. And it is a, there, it's a consequence largely of the economic inequality between two countries that leads people in Mexico to feel so uh, desperate about their material circumstances that they take great risks to enter the U.S. And in the U.S., in turn, it's become a very uh, hot political issue to uh, try to control the entry of unwanted and unlawful immigrants. And it's linked, as you know, uh, to the concern about terrorists slipping through this uh, kind of uh, porous border where there is uh, incomplete control and a lot of people over the years have entered the U.S. illegally. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Richard Falk in Santa Barbara, California, thank you so much 